I mean, I'm, I'm really insulted by the fact that, that, well, here's the information you requested, but we don't think that you can have this information. Frustration earlier in the day on the part of Cass County Commissioners. With refugee resettlement continuing to be a major part of life in the area, Commissioners asked a state senator and representatives of Lutheran Social Services to attend and answer questions about the resettlement program. Only Senator Lee showed up. LSS was a no-show, leaving plenty of unanswered questions. We begin tonight with a Valley News Live exclusive report. Refugees coming to the U.S. quickly becoming a defining issue for the field of 2016 presidential hopefuls. It's an issue, too, that directly affects us here in the FM area. This is a major resettlement region. In fact, Fargo is home to the largest group of refugees in North Dakota. And starting tonight, we begin a four-part series taking a deep dive into this issue, exploring your options, your opinions, with impacts to our schools, our neighborhoods, and our infrastructure, how our tax money is being spent, and how this issue extends well beyond supporting or opposing refugee resettlement. Valley News Team's immigration and relocation reporter Bradford Eric starts off tonight with more. Bradford? Mike, Stephanie, we wanted to really understand your viewpoints when it came to this issue, so we had a solid starting point from which to work. Full disclosure, we commissioned a study by Mason Dixon Polling and Research out of Jacksonville, Florida, paid for it, and now have those opinions. 625 adults in Cass and Clay counties were selected at random and interviewed by phone. Of those surveyed, 27% of you identified as Democrat, 32% as Republican, and 41% said they identified as independent or other. Further breaking down the numbers, 72% of you were asked to take the survey in Cass County, and the remaining 28% asked were across the river in Clay. Note that these survey results have a margin for error of no more than four percentage points, meaning there is a 95% probability they are true if all adults are surveyed. Right off the bat, we wanted to gauge your level of support for the refugee resettlement program in our area. We asked, do you support or oppose the continued resettlement of refugees in the Fargo-Moorhead area? 28% of you support it, 57% opposed it, leaving 15% of you undecided. We had some follow-up questions for you coming out of that first one based on your answers. If you said you support resettlement, we asked what is the primary reason you support it. 58% of you support it for humanitarian reasons. 17% replied we have a moral or religious obligation. And just 7% of you said you support it because refugees help do jobs others won't. If you answered that you oppose resettlement here, we also wanted to know why. 43% of you believe this is just not the right place. 24% reply it will cost the taxpayers money. And 15% of you say you oppose it because crime will increase. Another question we asked you on the survey, do you support or oppose public funds being used for refugee resettlement programs? Your answers, 35% support it, 55% of you oppose that. We also wanted to know if you believe organizations that resettle refugees, like Lutheran Social Services, should or should not bear the most responsibility for these individuals. 73% of you surveyed say yes, they should bear more, more responsibility. 22% of you opposed that. Many refugee families coming to the area include children. So we wanted to know your thoughts on how resettlement affects area school districts. We asked, how do you feel public schools in the area are being affected by refugee resettlement? Would you say they are being positively affected, negatively affected, or they are not being significantly affected either way? Your answers, 20% feel schools are positively affected, 47% feel the impact is negative, and 18% of you are unsure. These are just a few of the questions we asked you on the survey. To view the survey in, in its entirety, we have it posted on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just look for this story. Make sure you check it out, though, too. This is going to serve as the basis for our other reports throughout the week. Those include sitting down with local school districts and taking a deep dive into how much we spend on programs to educate refugee children. And we talk with the Fargo Police Department about difficulties in solving crimes committed by refugees. And lastly, we sit down with Lutheran Social Services, lay out our findings with, their, with this survey, and get their opinion. All right, thank you, Bradford. We will look for those reports. And again, we have the full survey and results posted on our website and on our Facebook page. Search Valley News Live on Facebook and give us your take on these questions.